let's talk the clips that will be happening by tropical placements in the sign of Libra because this is going to be a lunar eclipse so we're looking at the lunar placement or the moon placement which is going to be on Libra okay so, and then we're going to define the meaning of the eclipse using sidereal or eastern placements okay so it's going to differ from western to eastern so I'm going to give both possible definitions of the lunar eclipse and what could it, it generally can mean for people so let's start with a western definition okay so as i mentioned the moon is going to be in libra on march 25th 2024 so let's take into meaning what this could possibly mean so what does libra indicate libra is indicator of contracts the indicator of relationships it's the indicator of other people and it's pretty close five degrees apart from also k2 so k2 is the south node of the moon and k2 brings detachment and it brings in wisdom okay so the themes that you guys could see play out would be trying to get more in tune with yourself regarding relationships what it is that you feel in your partnership negotiations it could also bring a detachment from a partnership since it's pretty close to the to the south node of the moon so what could this mean you could see separations you could see divorces occurring during this time period you could also begin to see yourself maybe learning more about where you stand in relationships how you connect to other people right there could also be more so like an emphasis on self-care as well since both the north node is also in the sign of aries and again the sun is also playing a factor in this eclipse so we look at the placement of the sun as well which is at five degrees aries right we have this opposition between aries and libra aries is about individuality it's about health it's about you know being driven it's about goals and then you have the sign of relationships right so you could see this tug of war happening in relationships where it's like there's an emphasis of the ego in the individual of aries there's that other part of this eclipse which is dealing with relationships so i feel like relationship matters will probably come to a head whereas like you're trying to define where you stand in a relationship what you need as well and what you are likely to end up detaching from or at least learning for from more so in this eclipse I mentioned you guys could see a separation you guys could see a contract ending maybe you decide to part ways with an employer maybe you decide to part ways with a romantic partner you could also be trying to learn more about relationships as well you could be letting go of friendships as well because essentially Libra could represent everyone else but you, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. And then there could be more of an emphasis on yourself, like, you know, self-care as I mentioned. But that's the Western definition of the potential of this eclipse. So now let's take a look at the Eastern principles or the Eastern placements. So this eclipse is likely to be taking place on the axis of Virgo because if you take the Eastern placements we're gonna have the moon in Virgo and then also where is the Sun gonna be placed it's gonna be placed in the sign of Pisces okay so during this time another theme that could be playing out for people since what does Virgo represent okay you guys could be focused more so on your health what do you need to do in order to change things for yourself health wise there could also be more of an emphasis on health issues you guys could see yourselves preoccupied with health with also possibly debt there could be something that comes to a head regarding debt as well since virgo rules the sixth house of debt enemies there could also be a culmination with these matters right so perhaps you rid yourself of an enemy or you win a court case or there could be a court case that might come to a head or a close during this time period that's what i'm seeing in terms of the eastern placements 
could also be a very highly creative time period, whereas you guys could either start something new regarding anything creative, especially if you guys are in a creative field work-wise, profession-wise, maybe you're a healer, maybe you work in hospitals, or, or perhaps during this time period you could either start to see yourself having to attend hospitals during this time, maybe it's because you have you know, family member sick or something like that, right? So that's also a potential since you have Rahu in the sign of Pisces, okay? Either that or this could be a highly creative time. Maybe if you're a writer, maybe you're highly creative. If you work in a healing profession, that could also be more emphasized during this time period or the next few weeks. It's moon in Virgo. There could also be more of an emphasis of like having your life structured, right? Sixth house deals with daily routines. So moving forward, maybe you guys also develop a new routine on your day to day. Perhaps you guys have started a new fitness program or you're starting to wake up at 6 a.m. or you join a new diet. Some of you guys could also see yourselves detaching from a pet during this time. But overall, I feel like it's more likely like health themes come to play, right? Solidating debt as well. Something of that nature. Breaking a contract, your lease is up, your mortgage got sold, or you absolve yourself of some debt as well. So that is what I'm seeing in regards to the possible meanings that could play out during this time period, during this lunar eclipse, western in Libra, eastern in the Virgo placement, okay, the Virgo Pisces axis. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you guys did, make sure you guys like this video and also comment if you guys are seeing these themes play out for you guys.